We have breaking golf news from Heritage Point, Calgary, Alberta. Lisa Longball Vluswick, golf journalist, part of the Canadian Golf Journalist Society, contributor to Score Golf Magazine, which is like the Sports Illustrated of the golf journalism world, Inside Golf. Lisa, the latest story. I mean, and you were the one who broke the story of the MGA Tour and Ken Reed becoming commissioner, but now there's new developments. Yes. Tell us what's going on. Well, first of all, how cool was that story that I broke in Mill, at Mill River in Prince Edward Island that Ken Reed was to be the MGA Tour commissioner, and was he a great choice? Oh, well, and he, and, you know, he had to come down hard early yeah. to, to make sure that there were no shenanigans, Absolutely. that everything was on the up and up and everyone playing by the rules. Absolutely. Well, the, the Ken's whole role Role is for the integrity of the MGA Tour. So that's why he's there, is to make sure that the rules are, are followed, that, that, that the rules are paramount. Because again, without rules, it's, what is it? Chaos, Chaos anarchy. Right? So Ken Reed, his role, so our breaking news is Ken Reed has huge, a huge role this year because we have Jimmy and Caden Maxwell going for the drive for five for their fifth title. So they've won four titles. They're the reigning and defending champions and they're going for the drive for five. But we need to make sure that the rules are being followed and that they win. And it's, it's a pure competition. It's p not only pure competition, but it also stays away from the controversy currently, oh. you know, that the golf world finds itself embroiled in. And no other journalist uncovered this story, but tell us about the role Commissioner Reed played oh. in making sure that the MGA Tour didn't fall victim to what's going on right now. Well, exactly. So as you can see, the, the rules on the MGA Tour are paramount to him. Well, not only are they paramount to them to there, he believes in the integrity of the sport. So when he potentially was approached uh, by, of course, the Live PGA Tour merger, mm -hmm. you know, the DP World Tour, like all of these tours coming together, you know, the MGA had an opportunity, an opportunity to potentially be part of this. Now, Commissioner Ken Reed said, we want no part of that. I, I, we don't need the hundreds of millions. Mm -hmm. It's not about the hundreds of millions. It's not about the mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. We are here for the sport and for the game. It's about friendship, fellowship, the values that transcend the sport itself Absolutely. and that will actually like sustain for and endure for many, many generations to come, which is a nice segue to the four generational invitational. As you know, it happens again, the little Jimmy Cup is going to make uh, its debut. Uh, you know, there is the Commissioner's Cup that we play for, but there's also the Little Jimmy Cup. Uh, but Lisa, let's also talk about the fact that uh, my dad, former uh, golf pro from St. Andrews, Scotland, mm -hmm. has basically, every year he's alive and plays in this tournament, sets a new unofficial Guinness World Record. Four generations. Four generations. Four years in a row. Unbelievable. And now, if if he and Caden, you know, are successful in defending their belts. You okay, mean this belt right those, here? They've got the belts, all right? If they are successful, that'll be five years in a row. There's the drive for five. I'm just saying that, you know, it's kind of like this. The people at Guinness, the world record people, and I respect what they do, but so far they have ignored this statistical achievement they have not seen fit to give, an, to give it, to even investigate and give it its proper due. The fact is, there is no other former pro golfer nope. in the history of the world to have competed in a four-generational foursome four years in a row, let alone win it five years in a row. That's what's on the line, Lisa. Absolutely. Well, maybe, maybe, just maybe, they might, it might pique their interest on year five. Well, you never know if enough people, let's say, watch this video and, and send it on to the people they know in the Guinness World Record uh, circles. Who knows? Maybe it's not too late for Guinness to I agree. jump on this incredible statistical achievement. So you got Cal Ripken Jr. setting the all-time iron mark in baseball. Yep. In hockey, I think it's Phil Kessel, right? With the longest, oh, this might, th yeah. I think that this is worthy, is worthy of at least taking a look and investigation into this. Well, again, as always, Lisa Longball, you are so on top of what's going on in golf journalism, not only here in Canada, but all over the world. Uh, can't thank you enough for uh, what you're doing to uh, keep us all informed and updated. Cheers, and cheers to a fabulous MGA Tour and to your generational invitational.